Hey folks, John with ANJ Outdoors, and today I'm going to show you how you make sure you know your level of pellets in your Traeger grill at all times. So let's do this. All right, folks, one thing you don't ever want to do when you're using your Traeger is run out of pellets, okay? And I made the mistake once. I thought, hey, this thing's so high speed, it tells me the temperature, it does my time, it warns me when temperatures are hitting a certain point and all that, so I thought, obviously, it's got some kind of warning to let me know when I'm low on pellets. Well, guess what? It didn't. I had a big long cook going, ran out of pellets. When you run out of pellets, you gotta tear this whole thing apart, clean out everything, get the auger to forward enough. In other words, it's gonna stop your cook for a little bit of time, right? And it's no fun. So I was like, dang, I can't believe as much as you spend on one of these Traegers, right? That it doesn't have that capability to tell you. Well, fast forward to a month or two later and my brother shows me he has a way to see his pellets, how much he has left. And I was amazed. And so I had to get it myself. And here's what we're talking about, right? The Traeger, Traeger pellet sensor, okay? And I'm like, well, wonder how this thing installs because you know, how's the Traeger know you're putting it on there? So we open it up. Of course, Traeger always has some interesting packaging. Take it out. Oh, first thing falls out. Instructions. They're good instructions too, okay? Next thing you got in the box, okay? So this is the sensor. There's a couple screws there to install it. And that it's that simple. So let's go over here to the Traeger and let's go ahead and install this bad boy and set it up. All right, so there's not a lot of space where this thing's going, right, to get a camera in. But we're going in the hopper, and what I'll show you. Okay. First thing we gotta do is empty the hopper of pellets, right? You can see a little bit down there at the auger level, that's fine. We gotta remove the little safety mechanism here. And then when you look over here under my finger, right, right in there, there's a little plug and a couple screws. Those all got to come out. I'll show you what it looks like once I get them out. All right, so we got, come over here and take a peek. You can see the two screws are out that are under my finger here. And there's a little connector there. That connector, this is the rubber grommet we had to take out, right? That connector was stuffed in the back of it. We need to hook that up to our sensor. That's how easy it is. All right, hopefully you guys can see with that view. So here's my sensor. Look on that end, that's where the sensor is. It also has a light. So when it's on and running, that light will run. And then on the back end, it's got the plug. All we have to do is take this plug, stick her in here like so. Okay, get that stuff back inside the hole where it was. Kind of hard to do at this angle with a camera in the way and it's going to sit just like that so i just got to get my two new screws i'm not sure if there's like a slight difference in the screws one's long these ones are maybe a little longer than the original screws that were set. all right so now we just got to get these screws <laughs> in those holes to get everything together so like i was saying it's obvious with that plug and the wiring already there that these triggers are set up for this and there might be models that come from this is the pro 780 i think it is there might be models that come from traeger that already have this installed you know where for these ones maybe it was some type of option i don't know but i'm just happy it's available because i want to get this thing installed on here all right magic of fast forward that on we're going to put our grate back on it's a little bit harder to do now because that's kind of in the way of where it goes. Don't worry, John. Be Get by it, Get under it. Drop those guys in their spots. Tighten the screws back down. She is installed. So that's the physical installation. That's how easy it is. Let's move on to setting it up. Now we got to do is refill that hopper. Turn everything back on. It's going to recognize that sensor. And then when you go to cook the first time, you turn it on, instead of temp, it's gonna tell you to calibrate it. And to calibrate it, now it's gonna want you to drain it again. So we're gonna put things in, then we're gonna have to drain it again to get it to calibrate. But let's go ahead and get that done right now. 
All right, so we got the cow, the hopper filled again. Trigger's waking up. And look, it's already telling me, calibrate your pellet sensor for accurate results. Calibrate now, okay? Calibrate now. Empty pellet hopper, then press okay. So like I told you, I it told in the instructions to put some in, like I just did, and then when you go to set it up, it's gonna tell you to empty it again. So let's go do that now. All right, there you go. Pretty much after we've got some down at the auger level, but that's fine. So now we're gonna come back to the front. We got it empty, we're gonna press for okay. Press okay to calibrate empty hopper, okay. Empty hopper calibrated, press okay to continue, okay. Place hand under pellet sensor to block light, then press okay. So this is a two hand, so I'm gonna place my hand underneath here. See the light shining on my hand? All right, and then I'm gonna hit okay. So I gotta put the camera down for a second. All right, so after I've done that, we get that message. Pellet sensor calibrated, back, boop. Welcome to your Traeger, okay. I'm gonna show you the picture. You use your Traeger on your phone, whether it's uh, whichever phone you've got. Uh, if you have the app on your phone, before there was a spot that didn't say anything. Now it's gonna show us that we have, uh, have them in there. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick. So there were the photos of what it looks like now when I have that calibrated uh, sensor in there. It'll always show me on my phone what percent pellets I have in that hopper. So I'll never have to worry about not knowing and accidentally running out like I did before. So there you go, folks. Super easy install. Uh, the link to order it down in the description below if you want to order it off Amazon. Uh, and do me a favor, share this with your fellow Traeger owners, right? Hit that thumbs up for me down below. That always helps out the channel. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. I mean, why not? Okay, doesn't cost nothing. All right, appreciate it, folks. And until the next video, peace out.